Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Katie Weaver Show. Hi, this is Katie, <laughs> and I'm your host, and I'm so happy to be here. If you are listening live, it is the 21st of November, Thanksgiving Eve, and it is 10 a.m. Pacific time. If you're listening to an archive or a replay, I want to also welcome you here to the show and let you guys know that we are live in the chat room. You can find the chat by heading over to 12 Radio, that's number one, number two, radio.com. Click on the chat button and you'll be redirected into the Facebook chat. So easy enough to find it and I would love to see you there. I also want to let you know that I am live streaming this event from the chat room, wet hair and all. Sorry about that. It's That's the kind of day it's been. <laughs> and it's fine. I still need it to be live. So here we are. And I would love to see you there. So you can find the live stream in the chat room. I also will upload the live stream later on to my uh, page over on YouTube, which is Domestic Mystic on YouTube. So you can find it there as well. So we have all of our normal stuff today, but I want to play a game with you guys in the chat room. So you really want to be in the chat room. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. That is fun for some of you. It absolutely sucks for some of you. I know. Holidays are bittersweet for many of us um, and sometimes more bitter than sweet. And I want to hold space for, for all of you that experience that and for all of you that are maybe feeling stressed, maybe feeling a little overwhelmed, or maybe just feeling, right? Um, the moon is trying to be full. It's pretty wild. Mercury is retrograde. That has proved to be a real bitch for me. Uh, normally, Mercury in retrograde, I don't really, I have nothing there, right? I, it's fine for me. But I am a walking tech issue, you guys, seriously. I was up most of the night trying to fix my computer to no avail. I'm on a brand new computer this morning that I bought Scott two weeks ago and just had to take back. <laughs> Poor Scott. He's fine. He didn't really want it. So it's all good. But anyway, yeah, it's just been wild. So at any rate, I want to play a game. When I was in high school, uh, in a few different classes or youth groups that I was in, we did a thing called warm fuzzies. Totally different from bumping fuzzies, right? Okay, sorry, had to get that out of the way. Not a very funny joke. <laughs> but I want to play warm fuzzies with you guys. I want you guys to know how much gratitude I have for my listeners, for my chatters, for all of the support that you guys have shown me over the years. And I want to lift you up. I want to invite you to also lift each other up. So here's how warm fuzzies worked in person. Everybody, everyone took a sheet of paper. They wrote their name on top of it. And we started circulating the sheet of paper around the room. And people would take that paper and write something on it that they appreciated about you, that they were grateful for about you. And at some point, that paper finally circulated its way back to you. And you had this beautiful page of hopefully sincere, <laughs> loving thoughts from people. Uh, and of course, the intention was sometimes, I think, um, to lift people. I think sometimes it was for, you know, probably some kind of... Uh, what's the right word, uh, you know, group uh, building, trust building activities, things like that, leadership groups, things like that. But in this group, I know that you have, in our chat room particularly, spent a lot of time amongst each other. I know that many of you have become friends. I know some of you don't know each other, but I do know this. I know that everybody around here could use a little love. I know that everybody around here could use a little boost. So we're going to play warm fuzzies psychic style in the chat. So what that means for me is that I vow to get through every single one of you in the chat room today and tell you something that I appreciate about you. Some of you, that's easy. I know you well. Some of you, I don't. It doesn't matter. I'll ask. I'll feel you. I'll find it. But I want to appreciate you. But I want to also encourage you to do the same. Go seek each other out in the chat. Drop a comment, drop a note, say hello. Let's just share some love today. You know, we continue to be angry, confused, messed up, whatever. You know, the collective energy is not great, but that does not mean that we have to become that. How could we become the thing we hate? 
We can't. We cannot give into it. And the thing I know is the way we elevate our planet is through love. You know, it has been said by various leaders in various ways that hate cannot drive out darkness. Only love can do that. And I believe Martin Luther King said that first, and, and it's been said in many ways by others. But at any rate, we can lift up the world. We can lift up each other. And if you want to be mad at the way our world's going, go ahead. I'm mad too. But if we sit in that, if we become that, what are we doing? Who are we helping? Nobody, especially ourselves, our families, our communities, our bodies, our spirits. What kind of collective drop do you want to throw into the pond? We have to elevate. We have to elevate right now. So with that in mind, we are playing warm fuzzies today. We're going to be sappy and ridiculous and sweet and maybe we'll cry. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to open up the chat room to you all now to spread some warm fuzzies around. I want you to be generous and I know you will be because you guys, well, I love you all and I know who you are. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and dive into our regular work and then we'll keep going. Okay? Okay. So first I want to draw your attention over to Luminous Magazine. I'm going to throw a link in the chat room. You might have noticed that Luminous was not published until this morning. I apologize deeply. Like I said, I had a massive computer crash. I have had nothing but tech stuff happening and since Monday night, I was ready to publish on Monday. I was waiting for one thing and suddenly my whole world went upside down when my computer absolutely quick, you know, being my pal. And so uh, the daily reading went out late today. The daily dish, uh, yeah, went out late this morning. The magazine wasn't published until this morning. And it's just, it is what it is. So it's fine. But at any rate, if you notice that Luminous came out late, that's why. That's what happened. Uh, hopefully that's not something that's going to continue <laughs> to happen. So, however, I am trying desperately to put a link in the chat room right now. Here we go. Okay. So I'm putting a link to Luminous in <coughs> the chat if you'd like to follow along. If you would like to just go find it, you can go to katie-weaver.com and click on Katie's Magazine uh, on that button and you can find it there. So, of course, we're still rocking our gorgeous Abundantia cover courtesy of Velvet Dawn from her lovely, lovely deck. This is from her Awakening of the Divine Oracle deck. And so if you love it, definitely go check that deck out. It is for sale. And I had read that it's actually now for sale on Amazon as well. So lots of ways you can connect with Velvet Dawn's deck and uh, continue to support her beautiful work. I called the magazine this week, the Thankful For You edition. I know, not very original. I don't care. <laughs> It's all good. It's fine with me. That's just how I'm feeling. Uh, rather than a memoir this week, I wrote, I, I, I reblogged. Uh, this is a blog that I wrote last year about Thanksgiving food for animal companions. Thanksgiving can be, and, and holiday food in general, can be really tough on your pets. And so I gave you a few guidelines about what are yeses and what are noes as far as what uh, are good to feed your animal companions, it's really important. Um, vets report that over the holidays, that's a time that they have so many accidental uh, poisonings and things with animals because our lives are in chaos. We may have a bunch of visitors. We may have, you know, left that turkey carcass in a place that a dog could have gotten a hold of it. Uh, lots of things that you have to be careful about and just, and just know. Also, if you have guests, you have to be clear with them about what they may or may not feed your animals because you never know who is, you know, stuffing something under the table to the dog. And if that's not the way you feed your dogs, you need to make sure your guests know. So I'll let you guys read that article and uh, just reflect a little bit about how to protect your babies so that everybody's safe. All right, then my November reading special is a triple play reading, healing, and clearing. Uh, it's a 30-minute session. This is one of my favorites. I like this one a lot. We can cover a lot of ground in 30 minutes. We can do a, a reading. We can do a really comprehensive clearing. We can do some animal communication. We can probably do some mediumship. 
there's a lot we can do. So I do really appreciate uh, having that one available. By the way, Black Friday is coming. And <laughs> it's, this is fun because we're on sale for the next three days. And I love it. And on, we're on sale on Black Friday. And I'm going to have some Black Friday time-based session deals coming up. And so I will say this here and only here. If you are planning on, if you need to a TBS between now and Black Friday, a time-based session with me, drop me a note. I might let you in on a little early sale. I kind of like early deals. <laughs> I am going to shop on Black Friday, though, in the morning for a minute, just a minute. I love Black Friday shopping. I Don't ask me why. I know it's total chaos. I love it. I always go with my sisters. We shop. We go out to breakfast. We laugh. We have fun. It's just about the, the fun, the camaraderie. But uh, I, I kind of like it. Anyway, I know. How does an empath get out of bed, make herself go at 6 o'clock in the morning to stores full of ravenous beasts? I don't know. <laughs> but for some reason, it's fun, damn it. Okay. Christy brings us the stone of the week, which is tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is known as the business stone. If you are in business, you should always have a tiger's eye in your business next to your till in a place that helps to attract money. It Because it does help to attract money, it supports grounding and it supports self-esteem. You got a boy in your life that's struggling with self-esteem, give him a tiger's eye. Give him a tiger's eye amulet or a tiger's eye, you know, boy necklace of some sort. <laughs> give him a tiger's eye palm stone. But tiger's eye are awesome for self-esteem and I find them to be particularly useful in masculine energy. Okay, Christy pulls a card from her energy oracle deck, her kindred spirits energy oracle deck. The card this week is the spider. The spider's primary message is personal power, patience, long-term goals, and flexibility. If you're out of balance with the spider, that could be lashing out, rigid, impatient, and afraid. Afraid of spiders, perhaps. The crystal is picture Jasper. And the meditation is, dear spider, please support me in my long-term goals, guiding me to be patient and flexible. All righty. The tip of the week this week. You guys have heard me say this until I'm blue in the face, but I'm going to say it again because I love this one. Candle magic at the holiday table. Pick up a bunch of chime candles, create something to stands, you, you know, maybe you have enough stands for your table, but if you don't, you can make little stands by just carving out like a little uh, piece of fruit, like a little apple or a little cutie orange. Uh, you can make little holders for them out of clay or Fimo. You can put uh, some salt or sand into a shot glass and use that to just put your candle down in. Lots of ways you can get creative to make a, enough candle holders if you need quite a few. And what you do with that is that at the dinner table, give everybody a candle. I, I said yellow for chime, yellow chime candles because that's a good uh, color for gratitude, but it doesn't have to be yellow. Hand everybody a candle, ask them to speak their gratitude or pray their gratitude or bless their gratitude from their heart into their candles and then let everybody light their candle and let it burn down during the meal. It's a great way to just fill up the universe with gratitude, and it's a great way to bring the conversation at Thanksgiving back to being grateful. Thanksgiving is a weird holiday because it's kind of a, you know, for lack of a better word, trumped up one. And I don't, you know, we all have some weird energy around it. I think what we can do with it though is go ahead and shift the script a little bit and use it as a way to amp up the collective energy rather than tug it down. Okay, there's a little ad here for my candle magic kit that is for sale right now. I don't know, probably most of you guys have seen it, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun with these. I've been sending them out right and left. They're a neat way to do some candle magic uh, for manifesting. So if you're trying to manifest money or stuff or success or creativity or whatever it is, you can sure do that by uh, by picking this up. So I'll put a link in the chat room for it. 
You guys are rocking my world. The chat room is absolutely blowing up with so much of your love for each other. I can't wait to share these. You guys are amazing. I hope that you know that. You really are. Okay. All right. Article by uh, Brittany. Brittany's Divinity uh, is building memories, talking about building some uh, memories with her family and some of their traditions. It's very sweet. I love it. But it's got uh, changes afoot in her world, and I love it. All right. <laughs> Moving along. Okay, our article from Dr. Elisa. Uh, the header is, there is nothing you need to know. It is time to stop asking questions and move forward. And I really love that she said that because I think so often we get stuck in the role as the student for a tremendously long time. And in truth, we will always be the student in one way or another. That's true. But it's also okay to give yourself permission to trust yourself, to trust what you've already learned, to trust what your gut and what your spirit are telling you and move forward. So definitely take a little read on her article. I think it's great advice and a good reminder to evaluate where you are. Are you ready to take another step forward? Maybe you should be. Okay, and then our Magic Monday message by Melissa Caprio is, I am making magic. She always makes such beautiful postcards. Seriously envy her art abilities. She's amazing. I can't wait for her book. You guys know she's uh, been, she's being published and working on her book, on her program, her Postcards to the Universe movement. So I can't wait to see it. It's going to be amazing. And then our last article, of course, is Anita and the Masters. And Anita brings us the goddess Abundantia. Well, isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> She's on our cover. She also is the goddess of plenty. She's a Roman goddess. Her name means plenty or overflowing riches. A lot of times when you see a depiction of her, you'll see her holding a cornucopia that is full of all the stuff, you know. I love the good fortune. So she's a great one to work with when you are manifesting, when you are working on creating more uh, growth in your life. And she's I, she's kind of a lesser known goddess that people don't typically uh, seek out or look reach for when they do goddess work, but she should be. So thank you so much for that, Anita. Okay, very good. So that is Luminous this week. And again, if... Uh, I hope that you get a moment to take a look. If you would like me to send you Luminous when it's published, hopefully usually on Monday evening and sometimes later <laughs> when the internet gods say no, uh, head over to katie-weaver.com. Right there on the homepage you can subscribe and there's also a place there you can subscribe for the daily reading. You have to actually subscribe for both of them if you want to receive both of them. But um, that's all I will send you is the daily reading. I'll send you a reading every morning or uh, with the magazine. Of course, I'll send you the magazine every week. So that's how it works. Okay. I am dying to get back into the chat room here. So if you are just joining us, I want to let you guys know that we are having a show we're calling the Warm and Fuzzy Show. And we're taking an opportunity today to spread some love amongst us. I would love to see you in the chat room. I would love to see you in the chat room if I've never seen you in the chat room. It doesn't matter. You are welcome in our community. You are all welcome here. That's how this works. And I promise you that you will find a community of wonderful people. And what we're doing today is we're spreading love. So what does warm fuzzies mean? Well, it means that we're going to share some love with each other. We're going to share some appreciation with each other, some gratitude with each other. Because you know what? We need that. And here's what I know about so many of you. You're these big hearted empaths. You do a ton of things for other people. And I know that most of you go very much unrecognized that uh, so much of the work that you do on behalf of each other, on behalf of the world, on behalf of the collective energy, there's no thank you. And you're not doing it for a thank you. And that's fine. And you don't have to have it. I know, but you know what? You deserve it. You do. And so that's what we're doing today. If you want to jump in the chat room and share some love with each other, I would love that. I'm seeing a lot of that happening and I absolutely love it. I'm going to share some love with all of you. So I think we better start because if we don't, 
I don't know. If I miss any of you, I'm going to be heartbroken. I might do some of you more than once. <laughs> Because I might just lose track, but I want to get there. So I'm going to start at the top. So Maureen, by the way, come and say hi in the chat. Not just in the, uh, the, the Facebook live feed moves too quickly and I will miss it. So come right into the chat room and go to my banner and say hello so that we can include you in our warm fuzzy game. All right, Maureen. Maureen, you are a mother extraordinaire. You have gone above and beyond for your children in ways that I think that your kids will never quite understand. Maybe they will when they have their own. But I want you to know that I emulate and I appreciate the fierce mama that you are for your kids and that all that you do for them. You're amazing. I hope that you know that. Terry said on Maureen's behalf, Maureen is fierce, extraordinary courage and strength. I agree with that tenfold, Terry. I do. But Terry, while we're at it, why don't we focus on you for a minute? Terry, you are wise. You are a wise woman, wiser than you give yourself credit for. I feel like you are extremely well learned and well spoken. And I feel like you have a heart of gold. I know that you go out of your way to make sure that people around you are okay, sometimes to your own detriment even. And I want you to know that I see that light in you and I appreciate it. Kai Greenway also chimed in there. So Kai, <laughs> she said, Maureen, you may not always remember, but you are a super strong person. You are so generous in so many ways. Okay, Kai, now you get to be my next contestant. <laughs> I have no idea how we're going to keep track of all of you. We're just going to keep spreading love. We'll just do what we do. Kai, you are a wonder to me. You are a vault of knowledge that you freely share. You are a very gifted writer. I am always so happy to see what article I get from you each week. You share with us very generously because you provide us beautiful, well-written articles that I know take you a fair amount of time and you just do it because that's just, you're just like that, you know? You are an extremely loyal and supportive person. And I feel like you have a wonderful gift of seeing the best in people, sometimes when they don't even see it in themselves. And I thank you. And I honor my friendship with you very much. Okay. <laughs> oh, Terry and Kai. Well, good. We're going to get through. <laughs> you guys, this is fun. I, again, we're just going to keep on going because I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay. Under Kai, I will say, uh, Terry said that she's sorry she has to miss her live show. Kai has Deb Dumarier today. We haven't seen Deb around here in a while. And I think uh, we had Deb this morning as well with Christine, but she's coming back to talk to Kai. So if you guys have never listened to Deb before, you will adore her. She is so light and fun and funny and just a beautiful person. You'll adore her. So be sure that you hang out for her show today. Uh, Terry also said Kai is loving, sweet, gracious, and kind. Maureen said, Kai, you are such a loving, kind heart and soul and giving to so many. Man, so true. You guys are so good. I love that you're playing this game with me. <laughs> okay. Terry said, good morning, Katie and one two family. I'm home and recovering from the broken hip. I'm so glad you're home, sister. She said, I hope this doesn't cause me to be fearful of future traveling. If time allows, I'd love to know what you see for me in the next month. Okay. Um, I think that that is a head game, right? As far as the traveling piece. If your hip was going to break, it was going to break. And I know that's awful, but it's just true. And it broke and you were traveling and, and it sucked because you weren't home. However, you had a lot of wonderful care. I know you'll agree with that. And everything worked out okay. And I know you're deeply grateful to be home and anybody would be. I understand that entirely. However, you are okay and you're going to continue to heal from this hip and maybe this is going to give your medical team a chance to take a look at uh, 
what we need to do to strengthen up your bones and keep you moving in the right direction. But you know what, Terry? It's going to be okay. Yep. Terry, you mind warm fuzzy for you? You have the ability to look beyond the exterior of anybody. It's a beautiful gift. You might not realize what a gift it is, but so many people, they do struggle with that. They see the gruff exterior of somebody. They see their scars, their marks, their bits, and they have a hard time finding a way to relate with them. But you don't at all, actually. It's a huge gift, and I hope that you know that. But I really love and appreciate that about you. But also, your resiliency the last few years has been off the charts, and your ability to reach out and support others who have been through similar or going through similar ordeals that you've gone through is an absolute blessing. So thank you for being you. Okay. So, Elisa agrees. She said, you'll be fine and okay to travel. Wonderful. Terry, our other Terry, said she that Ter this Terry... We're not supposed to say last names on the air, so we'll get confusing here, but it's okay. So Terry C, <laughs> how's that? Like they did it in grade school, right? Terry R has a big heart and a tender soul. Yes, she does. Uh, and Terry returned the favor and said, kind and compassionate soul. Uh, Terry also pointed out that Elisa is so loving towards others, and she most certainly is. Agreed. Maureen said she is so very loving and kind. And Kai said, so kind and loving with a heart of gold. So true. I'll take it. I love it. And while we're at it, Elisa, now I'm going to put you in my hot seat for just a minute. You know, Elisa's pretty new here in the 1-2 world. And I've gotten to know her through her absolute generosity of providing us with beautiful articles every week in Luminous. Um, and on other projects, too, that um, she's been willing to talk to me about and I got to tell you guys, Elisa, I adore you. I think that you are an absolutely amazing person. I know that you have been through so many interesting life experiences. I'm dazzled by that. I think that you have so much to offer, and I'm so happy that you're here bringing it. You have this such a beautiful ability to scan the landscape of, of your clients and of our listeners and of the world around you to see what is it that people are struggling with. And how can I help? And I think that that's a tremendous gift. So I, I love and appreciate you. And I thank you for being a part of my world. Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So Terry says, Elizabeth, incredible creativity and a potent mind. Mm -hmm. Maureen said, so full of joy. And Kai said, you always make me smile when I see your name in the chat. And you do that for me as well. So... I know we call you both, right? We call you Elizabeth. We call you Marina. I'm never quite sure. I'll just call you whatever I want <laughs> in the most loving of ways. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, you are so intelligent and driven. You have so many wonderful abilities to affect people around you, but I really want to honor what you do for other women because I know that you provide space for other women to grow for other women to shine and you I know you came from powerful women you are a powerful woman and that's what you bring to the table and I want to honor that in you so much not all women can do it a lot of girls were raised to be suspicious of each other to be unkind to each other it starts young and what do people say about like women in the office place that there's going to be trouble you know bullshit it doesn't have to be like that but you Bring a wonderful example of cooperation, of elevation, and of supporting women in all that they do. And I want to honor that in you. So thank you for that and for being you. Okay. Renee. Renee brought a turkey and a coffee cup <laughs> in emojis. I appreciated it. And thank you. I'm going to have a drink. Okay. Terry said Renee has extraordinary kindness and sensitivity. Maureen said a bold and beautiful heart and soul. <coughs> Kai said, Renee, you have such a generous heart. I love your voice. Renee, here's my warm fuzzy for you. 
you are the heart and soul of the people around you. You are the center of so many things. You have this ability to allow people to come into your world with their bumps and their bruises and their scrapes and you have solutions. You're one of those people that they can talk to, that they can bring their, uh, you know, all their broken bits to and you can give them good solutions. You're a great advice giver. You're a wonderful person to be able to talk to. When you come into the chat room, you bring always a little bit of joy, a little bit of camaraderie, and always some really lovely support. And I appreciate that so much. So thank you. Okay. Kathy Wesselman. Oh my God. All right, Kathy, here we go. Terry said, nurturing ease and effortless connecting. Maureen said, you are the bomb. Your sense of humor and big heart is loved by so many. Kai says, Kathy, my friend with so much to offer, give freely of yourself when you see the need. And Chris said, I love that you share your yummy recipes. Amen, Chris. A freaking men. <laughs> Kathy, I hope that you know how much I adore you. I love your voice. I love that you join us on radio and you bring your, uh, your, your fun to us. You bring your recipes to us. But I love what I see from you in the chat room. I love you. Oh, and, I, and just on Facebook, actually, because I think your humor is similar to mine. We've joked a lot. We're fellow cancers, um, and we both love to cook and and to eat, and we have some similarities there that I really enjoy. But you, your sense of humor, but also your sense of resiliency, your connection to your family, I really honor that. You are a lovely sister, and a lovely daughter, and a beautifully supportive wife in helping your husband die. Uh, bounce his dreams out into the universe and be successful with them. And I know that you do a lot for other people. And I hope that you get even an ounce of that back. Uh, I, I know you do because you're very beloved. But thank you, Kathy, for being you and for coming to see us. Raven pointed out, and I didn't know this, she said that Renee is a very talented painter and artist. You know, actually, I think I did. I think I've seen her share things in the chat before. But thank you, Raven, for bringing that to the table. I love our warm fuzzy show. I hope you guys are having fun. This show is really just meant to just lift everybody up. Terry said, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Pamela said, hi, Pamela. Terry said, pristine ability to engage life and others and be present. And Pamela reciprocated with, I always love the energy and spirit uh, to Terry. Love to see you in the chat. Hope you're having an awesome Thanksgiving. And Kai said, Pamela, you don't think twice about giving your caring words of encouragement to others and share support. Pamela, I love the energy that you bring because you ground this place. You bring an energy of wisdom. I hope that you will not, uh, I hope you will take it as a huge compliment when I call you a crone because you are. You're one of the wise women. Then you come and you spread your love here in the chat and you spread your energy around. I know that you do not ask for the support that you need sometimes. I know that you think that other people need it more, that they need the uh, recognition more, they need the healing or the energy work more or whatever, and that you don't always reach out when you need to because you're allowing someone else some space, which is a beautiful thing. I hope that you reach out when you need help. I want you to know that I find so much beauty in the way you engage with the chat room and also in your ideology. I, I share it. I love the way you see the world and I appreciate it. Okay, Dominica. Dominica says, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I scrolled too far, hold on. <laughs> new computer, right, new mouse pad, all right. She said, happy Thanksgiving and lots of love. Terry said, gregarious, generous love of life and ability to share that with others. Kai said, Domenica, a new person to discover, cannot wait. Domenica, you know I adore you. Your ability to bring beauty into this world through creativity slays me. I know that you make and create absolutely beautiful things and through, through your, your work, 
And I really honor that because um, I'm one of those people that feels like I wouldn't have the first clue how to do the beautiful things that you do. And <laughs> I honor that completely. Also, your sense of family, your connection to family, and the way you love the people and support the people around you is huge. And I hope that you know that. I hope that you recognize that within yourself. Your ability to love unconditionally is has capacity without end. So thank you so much for being you and thank you for being here. Okay, Eva. All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Eva, I'm scrolling down. All right. Terry says to Eva, she said, a joy that bubbles through everything. Maureen said, Eva, your support and love is felt by all. <sighs> Eva said, Katie, I'm so thankful to have you as my favorite advisor for your kindness, honesty, wisdom, and more. Thank you for that. What a sweetheart you are. Yang Hai said, Eva, your enthusiasm is infectious and brings joy to myself and others. And I will double down on that, Kai. I absolutely agree. Eva, you're brilliant. You are. I know how well studied you are. I know how hungry for information you are. And I also know that you have a great uh, knowledge in you about when to lean in and when not to, as far as learning is concerned, as far as uh, supporting other people is concerned. I also know that you are an extremely conscientious and caring mother that uh, goes well above and beyond for her kids. And I really love and appreciate that about you. Thank you. Okay, how are we doing? If I miss any of you, I'm going to feel terrible. I hope you know that. If that happens, please know it was not on purpose. That would suck. Okay, <laughs> Jan, Jan C. All right, Jan. Well, I'll read your, I'll read your warm fuzzies, then we'll keep going. Terry said, a laser-like ability to raise what is essential in the best way with an amazing, compassionate heart. Oh, Jan said, holy cow, I didn't intend on tearing up this morning. <laughs> uh, Maureen said, Jan, your love and sisterhood is felt so deep in my heart. And Kai said, Jan, caring, supporting, and loving. Absolutely. Okay, Jan, you are such, such a born healer. You are such a beautifully gifted person. I absolutely love what you bring to the world because you're carefree. And I know you'll laugh because you know you probably don't feel like you're always carefree, but it's what I see in you. Your carefree ability to be able to do what needs to be done, bring the support to the world that needs to be there, but not get too spun up is a huge gift. It's something that also I think helps to ground others around you. You probably help ground this group right here because you bring that to the table. And I think that it's a wonderful thing, but also your humor. You are funny as hell, and I love it because um, you know how much I honor uh, humor. <laughs> it's, it's the only thing that gets me through many things. Thank you, Jan, for being here. Okay, Dr. Elisa, who I actually already hit on, but she has some beautiful warm fuzzies, so I want to share them. Elisa, I'm so glad you joined us today. It so ha makes me happy to have you here. Terry said, a bright, enchanting soul who puts enormous energy into connecting. Maureen, you have opened my mind and heart because you have, oh, because you give so much to so many. Love surrounds your beautiful heart. Renee says, I appreciate your art and writing. Yes, another gifted writer. Great connection there. Kai says, uh, so sharing and knowledgeable. And Chris said, I love that a fellow Aquarian chooses parallel lives, paths, and interests. Very interesting. I love it. Thank you. And Elisa, thank you for being here. Shireen says, ooh, this sounds like fun. It is fun. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. I know this is a very different kind of show, but you know what? Why don't we deserve to spread some love here and there? We got to do it. All right. Shireen, uh, Terry says, exotic, mindful, appreciation of beauty in all that surround. <laughs> and Shireen uh, reciprocated to Terry, a uh, kind, gentle, soft soul, spreading love, light, and goodness. Do you guys feel that with every word we speak, every affirmation that I'm speaking today that is coming from you to another, every word that we 
speak, we're elevating. We're all going to leave this show today with a, with a little bounce because we elevated. And you know that as we elevate, we're elevating everything around us. This is important work. Who knew, right? That it could be this fun and easy to do such important work. Kai says, Shireen, a newer person I have yet to know what fun. Shireen, you are a tremendous force for good. Your patients, your children, your world around you is so lucky to have you, your coworkers. And I know what a thankless job you have. And I know that you do a tremendous amount. I also know that you continue to seek out the best in the world to grab the best things for you. And I really honor that. You're brave, you're courageous. And I know that even though sometimes uh, you know, life has spun you around a little bit, you just keep on moving forward. You keep making the best choices for you and your family. What I really want to honor in you though is your ability to love and take care of others. What you do in your profession and in your personal life as well is really, really commendable. You give, man, and give and give. I know you. There, there'll be no way for the world to give back to you as much as you have given to it. And yet, I hope that we all try because you deserve that. Okay, Dominicus said, Katie, I so appreciate not only your show, but the fact that you're a call away to use your amazing gifts of energy, healing, and love to bring serenity oh, to my dad. And I'm sure of those uh, of others. Sorry, I got lost. <laughs> Thank you, Dominica. It's my honor. It really is. This is what I love about working on the lines. You never know what's going to happen, but it's always going to be something interesting and gives you an opportunity to help. Uh, Christy and I had Louis Otero as our guest this week on One Two News. And Louis said, you know, when I get off of a call, I feel amazing. I'm beaming because I had an opportunity to help somebody in some way and that gives me something huge inside and I thought that is just such a great uh, synopsis of doing this kind of work because as you help other people it just feels amazing yeah lioness morlene she said big hugs kai said lioness your heart matches that of a lion i appreciate you and that it does morlene you are also one of those people who knows how to see the good in others. I know that you have had to become the lioness. You have had to be courageous in your life. I know you haven't had a choice from time to time. And yet here you are continuing to choose to be optimistic, continuing to choose to be kind, continuing to choose to expect the best out of your life. You're an expert manifester. I know that you are really good at creating what you need. And you also have a brilliant inner lie detector. You're really good at it. I hope that you trust that always because it's one of your biggest gifts. Thank you for being here. How are we doing, guys? Okay. <laughs> Kathy said she appreciates Katie being here, bringing her gifts and also her warm and wonderfully wacky humor. <laughs> Thanks for saying it that way, Kathy. That's not what my kids say at all. <laughs> oh, you guys, my poor kids. I tease them to no end. <clears throat> I don't really know. I, I, I don't really know what to do about that except for to just uh, keep bringing it to the table. I have taught them how to laugh in the face of everything. <laughs> Usually have no choice. I know I'm terrible. It's okay. Okay, Laura said, Oh, Facebook, you have to stop. Laura said, Good morning, Katie and friends. I would love a lower body scan and some energy work to ground me. Let's ground you really quickly. She said she's feeling super edgy. I'm gonna ground you, Laura, but while I do so, I'm gonna throw out a warm fuzzy for you. You are an unmatched caregiver for your animal companions. You know, we've been together through a couple of your babies here now, and they are all so incredibly lucky to be in your home because you anticipate their needs before they're even barked, you know? You do a wonderful job. But also, the way you have supported your daughter through her dreams, and it's very emotional times, some really proud times, 
you're quite the mom and you you created a hell of a human in her you your nurturing and caregiving is beyond beyond seriously you're amazing okay Di or Chris I almost said a last name <laughs> Chris said, I love all the diverse perspectives of the one, two groups, hosts and posts. Me too. Me too. I love it. I love that we have so many people that have a little different backgrounds that have studied different things, um, that have different gifts. And in a lot of ways, it's just different means to the same end. And it just, it's very, the diversity I think is rich and it's uh, nurturing for everybody. Chris, I love that you come into, every time you come into the chat room, you bring a supportive voice. I have noticed that you have no problem um, commenting on other people's posts, on bringing them a little extra love. You know, sometimes when people post in the chat room, we see some pretty heavy stuff. You know, people that are going through some epic stuff. And you have no problem jumping in and, and supporting them, giving, um, you know, adding a little extra love to the pot. And I really appreciate that about you. Not everybody's great at that, but I feel like in your uh, in your in person life, uh, your Muggle life, <laughs> we'll call it that, uh, that you you're just like that. You're the person that will grab the you know help hold the baby while the mom's uh, you know trying to check out her groceries, or the person that will help somebody that's struggling because you know they can't get their car unlocked, or you know help the elderly person in the parking lot, or whatever it is. But you give your love so freely. And so unabashedly, and I really love and appreciate that about you. Not everybody can. Some people just, they, they just, they struggle with doing that, but you don't. It's good. It's something that I emulate. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Pamela wants to know if Kathy will just please adopt her and feed her. I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, Candace. Candace said, I appreciate the one two community. You are all so kind and always remind me to be true to myself. Thank you. Kai said, Candace, you handle such a busy life with such a loving heart. And Kai said, Candace said to Kai, Thank you for being you. I know I can always give you a call if I need support. You carry a humble, motherly energy and always bring perspective into any situation. Man, Candace, that is absolutely perfect. That's a perfect way to describe Kai. Yep. All right, Candace. You have had to basically in your lifetime continue to make others make room for you, right? Because you, you've you always just had to be you. I laugh about thinking what you were probably like as a kid. And uh, you know that you, I, I suspect you were like the, the kid that directed every game, you know? I'll be the mommy and you be the daddy and you be the baby and you be the dog because that's just how you were. And, and people had to make room for you because you, your guidance, your leadership and your ability to shine and to bring people together is a huge gift. And I honor that in you. Thank you. And thank you for being here. All right, we have four minutes. How are we gonna do? Lynn, <laughs> oh, Lynn said, thank you for sharing your gifts and talents and your heart and humor. You are so giving up yourself and I really appreciate all of the help you've given me and everyone else here. Lynn, thank you so much. All right, Lynn, here is my warm fuzzy for you. You have a gift of bringing beauty to the world. You bring beauty, whether it's through creativity or it's through your words or it's just through the way you associate with other people. I feel like there is a beauty around you that I really honor and I want to tell you that. I feel like you bring something to the world that we need. You elevate us through bringing the beauty in and, and I, I feel like some of that has to be through creativity. I'll bet your home is really cool because you're, this is what you do. It's how you elevate. Karen, we're gonna fly now, guys, to get through everybody. All right, Karen. Karen said, all my love to the one, two tribe and to the teachers, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Karen, you are a teacher. I, I hope that you had a chance to read Dr. Elisa's article this week in Luminous, but it basically was talking about recognizing when it's time to stop learning and, and to step into your role. And I hope that you recognize that that is your role. 
You are someone who educates people around you constantly. You are an absolute sponge for knowledge and you're great at recalling information and at being able to help other people understand concepts in a way that uh, they can grasp them. So in whatever way it comes up for you, you're a teacher. Okay, Amy. All right, Amy. Amy, you are brilliant and fearless. I love that you, your world of real estate baffles me because, not baffles, is that right? It astounds me because you are so fearless in stepping into what used to be a man's world, what used to be a place where there wasn't room for women and you have stepped directly into it and insisted on having a seat at the table. You do things that really help your family and you do it in a world where you weren't always welcome, but you've made yourself be welcome and I really honor that. You are fearless. Tara. Tara, you are the world's mama. You are. You're great with your own kids, but you're great with others. I know that this year you have been taking care of ill relatives and everybody around you, and you just do it with this huge smile on your face. I really honor the divine feminine and the maternal energy that you carry. It's huge. Madeline. Madeline wants to know if she should go through with her knee surgery about a month from now. So many things are up in the air. Madeline, I feel like within the next week, a lot of that's going to settle and you can make a better decision about it. So don't get too stressed out yet. All of that up in the airness, it's going to come down soon. Madeline, you have a lovely gift of making other people feel comfortable in your presence. You're one of those people that can ground and settle the energy around you. And that is a huge gift and I honor that in you. Sheila, Sheila, what do I say to you or about you? Here's my warm fuzzy for you. My warm fuzzy for you is that I'm so glad that you chose to be born onto this planet at this time. You carry much more of the grid in the area that you live in that you realize. Your frequency matters. Your words matter. The love that you bring to the world matters. And I honor that and I adore you. Okay, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, you bring this masculine energy around here that we don't get very much of, and I absolutely love that you do. Your path of self-discovery is so vast, and you do so much to learn about the world and to apply it to your life. Your willingness and ability to hold your own feet to the fire is huge. Your lack of ego or willingness to call yourself on your own ego is tremendous and should be emulated by, well, everybody. Um, would you go work in the White House for a while, please? Hmm, probably not. <laughs> thank you for being you and thank you for all of your support and your friendship. Guys, we didn't make it, but I will go through the chat room and make sure that I warm fuzzy every single one of you. I want to make sure that I get you all today. So thank you for being here. Please stay, stay tuned for Angel with an Edge with Elizabeth Lindsay, followed by Kai Greenway. She, of course, has Deb Dumar today. And then I believe that Dr. Elisa is guest hosting today uh, for Melissa. So lots more great shows to come here on, in Once You Radio, where we're changing the way you listen to the world. <laughs>